that's a lovely photo, don't you think? Yes, thanks. It's good to meet you. Hi, Megan. <laughs> I won't pretend it doesn't cost me something. Of course. Look, I'm not in the fakery, so just cut to it. Me neither. So, for the sake of the children, I think that we should communicate more. Um, you, I can't believe I'm saying this, you and me and John. You know, I'll be honest, it's been hard. You know, it's been hard, but I accept it all, of course. I accept it all, but I detest the role of some spurned wife, you know? You're not. Am I not? You still have such a deep connection to John. We've managed to remain friends, that's true. I mean, your phone calls? Do you disapprove of that? No. Okay, well, the marriage has dissolved. We are just parenting right now. Well, I mean, it's more than just parenting. You guys are on the phone like several times a day. Don't get me wrong, I think it's great. I'm just saying over the past months, it's occurred to me. Reading your book, I'm watching you. Yes. Well, it's obvious you're still in love with him. What the hell? What, like, what the hell are you playing at? It's just that I think he also has buried feelings for you. Okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. I can't believe this. So you're all tired of your little affair, right? You're all done. And now you, you want to manipulate all of us into some absurd happy ending to just relieve you of your guilt. This is, this is your burden. You did this. You know this, right? Please, just listen. <laughs> listen. John and I are in trouble. I don't know if he realizes how badly in trouble we are. I don't think he wants to know. When I met you, well, it suddenly occurred to me that you and I could collaborate on. I think there is an opening somehow to get you two back together I, I i i still i still can't believe this i, I you're you walk up in here and you're you're trying to we're meeting for the first time and you're trying to tell me that we're supposed to be together you want to play matchmaker i i thought that i was a control freak <laughs> and i've met a lot of control freaks in my life but you you make us all look like an amateur I didn't mean to insult you. You didn't mean to insult me. Okay, yeah. Well, have the decency to leave him and face the fact that you poisoned my life. Yeah, yeah. You poisoned my life, my children's life, and John's life by absorbing us all in your selfishness. Excuse me? Wait a minute. If you had such a perfect marriage... Why was John miserable? You neglected him. You used them. You didn't respect this talent. And if I'm so awful, why the hell are you here trying to get us back together now? Yes, think that actually, even though I do think you were pretty self absorbed and extremely needy, that was actually kept you on balance. Taking care of you made him think about someone other than himself. Yeah. Get up, please leave. I I've had enough. I've had enough of this flat-footed psychologizing of my marriage. You have no idea. You have no idea what I went through my marriage. You came in just a couple of months ago and now you're going to tell me what to do and how it is and what it is with my marriage. I can't believe this. My marriage was awful. It was subline. You have no idea and you will never know. Get up. Just go, please. Get out of my house. Thank you. Please. Let yourself out. Go. 